Hey guys, so I'm back today with a freaking favorites video because I haven't done like my all time favorites or like things that I'm like loving right now ever and god I should probably turn yeah I'm gonna turn it off oh no wonder I was like why is it so dark now I know why okay so basically I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorite products that I'm either loving right now or been loving like forever I'm gonna freak out about this lighting okay so I don't even have them gathered which is not good First thing I'm going to start with is a foundation. I like my foundations matte. And I discovered a foundation that recently came out. And I think it is my, one of my holy grail foundations ever. And this is the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Foundation. And I'm already almost halfway through with it. But this will keep you matte all freaking day. All freaking day, all freaking night, doesn't come off. Um, I wear this for like game days, um, nights out. I mean, I'll even wear this during the day because it's just, this stuff is, in my opinion, is bulletproof and I freaking love it. Anyway, another favorite of mine is this foundation brush. Oh, where has this been all my life? I use this every time I put foundation on. I used to use my beauty blender because it looked so good, but oh my gosh, this saves me like five minutes. I just, it's so big and fluffy and dense, so dense, oh my goodness. And I just work my foundation in and it doesn't leave my makeup feeling like streaky or anything like that. It just blends it out beautifully. Love it. Love that. And then concealer. Favorite concealer ever by far is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Best concealer I've ever used. And I say this because it is lightweight, yet the most full coverage concealer I've ever used. I love my makeup to be full coverage. If you've watched my videos, you know that I like to cake it on. And I like to just, bleh. I just love makeup, so I just put a ton on and I love it. Medium is spot on for me, it's perfect. And this stuff is, so full coverage but so lightweight it is a blessing in disguise in this little bottle it doesn't look like it would make that much of a difference but it does love and to blend that out what I've been loving I am dropping things all over the freaking place oh my god where's the lid for this I don't know it's probably gonna go everywhere anyway the morphe g2 brush to pat in that concealer it is the easiest thing and it's dense, it picks up any excess, it is amazing. I keep doing this, I should stop. And, to set the concealer, all time favorite purchase, this is my third, or second, third or second. I will never part with this baby. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I, like, this is probably my favorite product ever. I, can I say that? Like, ever. Like, oh my goodness. This stuff will set your under eye concealer. You won't crease. You can set your whole face with this, but I just do my under eyes. I mean, that, this does not get oily, creasy, budge. My makeup is glued to my face when I use this stuff. It is freaking ridiculous. And I'm obsessed and you should all go buy it. Okay, bye. Now, but this is the Jaclyn Hill and Becca, what is this called even? Champagne Collection Face Palette. Oh, it was, was it backwards? No, like this. Okay, sorry. This is my favorite highlighting palette. And because I just did that again. Okay, I'm going to stop. I won't do that again. Promise. Okay. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will say I don't use either of those two blushes. Definitely not that one. Definitely not that one. I love Amaretta, which is the one in the middle. This one I will use sometimes, but I prefer darker blushes like this. But I'm telling you, these two highlights are my favorite highlights in the entire freaking universe. Especially Prosecco Pop. 
uh, Champagne Pop's the original one that Jaclyn Hill came out with. Prosecco Pop is her new one that she came out with. It is gold. How would I describe that? A gold champagne, I would say. I don't know, because the lighting doesn't pick anything up right now because my lights are clearly going dim on me. But let me just swatch it for you. This is Prosecco Pop, and this is my favorite highlight ever. Even, and then Champagne Pop is, wait, which one's which? Oh, Champagne Pop's definitely more champagne, but Prosecco Pop, oh my freaking gosh. Like, I wonder if you can just see that. And boom. Favorite highlights in the universe. I need to get the pans because this thing's kind of a pain in the booty to bring around all the way everywhere because literally Prosecco Pop is my life, so go. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Craft. And I freaking love this. This is the most beautiful purple red, not red, purple, I don't know, how would you describe it? It's pretty purple, but it's got some like red, rosy undertones to it. And I, I'll probably put a picture in here somewhere of me wearing it, but this has been my favorite liquid lipstick ever for like a darker lip. It's not super dark, but it's definitely dark. And it brightens, it makes my teeth look so white. And I am completely obsessed with this. I wear it anytime I have like a really special occasion to go to. I just... This is always my go-to, and it's just bomb.com. And let's see here. Oh. And I literally just picked a new one up because mine ran out. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Oh my lordy. Lordy. Capital lordy. This is, I will never, this is, I want to say like, my fourth repurchase of this this little guy runs out on me so fast but I repurchased it it's freaking amazing um, it's got a spoolie on the end here and the tip is freaking tiny so you can get in anywhere and just pretend like you're filling in hairs but you're just you know filling in nothing to make it look like you have hairs um favorite perfume ever my signature perfume Mac turquatic Oh my, if you haven't smelled MAC Turquatic, you are missing out. I have never smelled a perfume like this, my favorite, favorite, favorite perfume ever. Like, I, I will never part with this. Never. Ever, ever, ever. I am a sophomore in college now, and I've had this for, since my sophomore year of high school, and I will never part. It's my favorite. Ever. Hair. Hair. Speaking of hair, I did get my hair dyed and I got it a platinum blonde and it looks like it's just definitely, um, it's definitely not platinum. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I'm going for like a platinum ish look, but it's definitely not platinum right now. It is just not brassy, and that's what my hair was. And I was like, Jess, I don't want my hair brassy. I want it to be, and I showed her pictures on Pinterest, and she was like, oh my gosh, yes, we're doing this. And I am completely obsessed with how it turned out. I think it is so, like, different for me because I've never had my hair like this. It's um, definitely more cool-toned, and I freaking love it. By the way, if you want an amazing girl to go to, if you're from Omaha or Nebraska, Jess Mosby at Trio's Salon. Oh my gosh, she is amazing. I won't let anybody else touch my hair besides her. Nobody else. She knows blondes. If you're blonde, you need to go to her. She does blondes. She loves blondes. She also does every other color, but, you know, her blonde work is amazing. So yeah, I just got my hair done from her, and I freaking love it. But to keep my hair volumized... I used the Kenra Volume Mousse Extra Firm Hold Mousse. This stuff, oh, number 17. It's number 17 if you're wondering. This stuff is so bomb. 
I put it in my hair when it's wet. It's got a little for foam. And I just massage it in my roots and then I brush it out through the rest of my hair. I will blow dry it. And my hair is so volumized and it doesn't feel gross. Like I've used um, mousses before for volume where I put it in and it's it like leaves my hair feeling so freaking disgusting. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But this one is heaven sent. And to brush my hair, I will, I swear by these, I will only use wet brushes. I'm pretty sure I have four around my house. Wet brushes are the only things I use to brush my hair anymore. Because the other brushes will pull on my hair. These just leave my hair soft. I don't feel like it's damaging it. And yeah, I just, these are bomb. So, for texture, I've been using this for a little bit now. I've been using this very long. I like just got, it just like came to me. My Jess, shout out to you for showing me my favorite texture spray now. It's by Davines and it is, oh my gosh, I have the burps. And it is their dry texturizing for instant full bodied hair spray. Oh my God. I will just freaking put this in my hair. Oh my God, and it smells, like the smell of it is just bomb. It gives my hair so much texture, so much body. But okay, that is it. That's all for my like favorites right now slash some old favorites. This video is kind of all over the place because I'm filmed in a while. So I'm kind of all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to film a lot more. That is my goal for this year and going into next year is to just keep filming because you know once you don't once I don't film for a while it's it just kind of like goes out of my brain because I'm focused on everything else in life and I need to keep up with the thing that I love the most which is makeup but anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye